Hey, kids. You miss me between drug deals? Yeah. I miss you like I miss an intestinal parasite. I love your similes. Hop on, Sha. We've got a relevant number in Alaska. We're gonna steal a jet. Does sound kind of fun. Send me a postcard. Turn that frown upside down, Lurch. You're going on vacation, too. Harold's about to call from DC. He needs your help. Thanks for being my travel buddy on these errands. Sure. It's not every day you get to beat up a militia group in Anchorage, then hop a plane to Miami. So is this what you're doing from now on? You're chasing down bad guys? I doubt it. There's still too much work to be done. What kind of work? Preparation. I understand. We're leaving now. Time to go. Where to? St. Louis. Oh, great. I know a steak joint that serves a filet that's better than sex. Yummy as that sounds, you won't be joining me. She needs you somewhere else. Where? Fitch will reach out to us when he's good and ready until then. Oh. <sighs> nice to see you too, John. Where the hell did you come from? El Paso, most recently. Thing with the narco trafficker. Very relevant, but not the point. Who are the party crashers? Decima trigger teams. Waiting for you with no less than six submachine guns and one honest-to-goodness Russian RPG-7. We need to get invisible. Fast. We're covered on 23rd Street by the Flushing Line elevated tracks. We make it that far? And maybe we don't get shot by the six Decima agents waiting a block away. Samaritan 101, let's go. Never thought I'd love the side of New Jersey. You sure we're safe here? From everything but the coffee. And yes, we're off the radar as long as we're outside the five boroughs. Samaritan can't see this far. Three guesses what Decima's gonna use them for. But you won't need three. Samaritan, but it's already online. You think it's scary now? Samaritan's a brand new system. A child learning to crawl. These servers, for when it can run. You couldn't have aimed two inches higher. Everybody's a critic today. Let's just go find you a computer. Did you just steal a dead man's keys? She asked me to. Give her your knife, John. Daiso, Jason, Daniel, and I have been on the road collecting certain contraband in the Tri-Cities. That sounds both vague and dangerous. And as much as I'd love some girl talk, you need to go to the Carlton Hotel. And, uh, why do I need a cell phone? Trust me. Are you in, Shaw? Fifteenth floor, just like you asked. You want to tell me where I'm going? First door down on your left. You'll need to let yourself in. Oh. You might want to use your silencer. into a room filled with Secret Service guys? A little heads up would be great. She knows you can handle yourself. Let me just shoot him now. We still don't know if they're the perpetrators yet, Shaw. You're joking. It's control. She almost killed you, Root. And me and Harold. Should I continue? We all make mistakes. Just to confirm, you're saying I can't kill control yet. Stay the course, Samane. Fine. But just remember I told you so when all this goes pear-shaped. Now's not a good time. Remember when I said Finch wasn't in imminent danger? I may have been a little hasty. You won't make it there in time. Well, where's it there, Root? Still too hard to see. But then how are we supposed to find him? The machine doesn't know. But Hirsch does. Be careful. 
careful, Shaw. Where's Finch? You think I know? My friend is never wrong, which is as annoying as that sounds. Be at the intersection of 5th and 23rd in 15 minutes. Goodbye, Shaw. Wait, Root. Is that all? Where are you? Right where I'm supposed to be. You found it, didn't you? Samaritan. Maybe. Did you find Harold? She's worried about him. So am I. We're working on it, but... Seriously, are you about to kamikaze into a decimal fortress with a bunch of nerds? Didn't know you cared, Shaw. And it's just me now. But the machine has your back, right? Right? 23rd and 5th. 12 minutes. Tick-tock. Chris gonna get herself killed. Go. We'll find Harold. Looks like someone crawled in under the fence. Admit it, you were worried about me. I'm worried about the mission. Reason her, she's trying to save Finch, but that won't matter if Samaritan kills us all. Then let's get to work. Oh, it's gonna be that kind of party, huh? Decima tags its people. Anyone who doesn't have an RFID chip will stick out like a sore thumb. Ready for your shot? As soon as this is over, I'm cutting the stupid chip out of my arm. I'll do yours if you do mine. Ready for the moment of truth? Or lies, really? So what's the deal? You just plug them in, then it slides out Samaritan? Something like that. We're inside a sleeping giant, Shaw. Try not to wake it up. Last one. Wanna get out of here? Not without an insurance policy in case your way doesn't work. Just tell me where to put this thing. This facility is one of a hundred just like it all over the world. It would take years to destroy them all. And Desmo would only rebuild them. Well, then your magic boxes better shut this thing down. Shaw, this was never about turning it off. Well, then what the hell have we been doing? I hear you. We need to go. She says we're in danger. This was never about winning. It's just about surviving. The machine and I couldn't save the world. We had to settle for protecting the seven people who might be able to take it back. So we gave Samaritan a blind spot. Seven key servers that hard codes it to ignore seven carefully crafted new identities. The only way to disappear is to appear. Hiding our true identities inside a seemingly ordinary life. We have to become these people now. And if we don't, they'll find us and they'll kill us. I'm sorry, Harold. Everything is changing. I don't know if it'll ever get better. But it's going to get worse. But the machine asked me to tell you something before we part. He once told John the whole point of Pandora's box is that once you've opened it, you can't close it again. She wanted me to remind you of how the story ends. When everything is over, when the worst has happened, there's still one thing left in Pandora's box. Hope. Oh.